It's good to have you joining us for devotions today. As the holidays are narrowing down, and hopefully uh, that will bring you some well-deserved rest from what really often turns out to be a very busy season. As these days, as this year narrows down, I pray, though, that your faith and your hope in Jesus' advents are not themselves narrowing, but, but rather expanding. For us who follow Jesus, we know that rest is coming. And I'm not talking about the worn out, exhausted rest when we flop down after the holidays, but the eternal rest of heaven, pure bliss, perfect contentment, and communion with God. Revelation chapter 21 is a vision of what is coming to us. The dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be any mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. For the former things have passed away. Is there anything more important to you than entering heaven, the eternal promised land? Let's consider the mind-boggling greatness of Jesus Christ. When you think about Jesus, don't just see this baby that is lying in a manger. St. Paul says that He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by Him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through Him, through this little baby, and for Him. And He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, that is the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything He might be preeminent. For in Him all fullness of God was pleased to dwell. Wow. I don't know about you, but I can't even begin to comprehend the greatness of Jesus. How naive of us to think that Advent is only about Jesus being born long ago in Bethlehem. All these things were created through Him and for Him, and He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. That's incredible. Jesus Christ jealously wants you to be His, now and forever. And that's why He keeps coming to you. He keeps making advents. He keeps coming to you week after week in worship, as His Spirit serves you word and sacrament. He keeps coming to you during the week when you have your devotions. He keeps coming to you when passages you have memorized and biblical principles of faith guide you in life. He keeps coming to you in many unexpected moments. As it says, the image of the invisible God is coming, coming, coming to you. And all His comings are pointed toward a goal. All the advents of Jesus are leading to His final, decisive advent on the last day. And so that leads us to say with joy and pleading the word I taught you yesterday, Maranatha. Come quickly, Lord. Maranatha. Please pray with me. Gracious Lord, we thank you that your coming to us is not just as a little baby in Bethlehem in a manger long ago, but that your advents continue in surprising ways in our lives and in consistent ways through word and sacraments. Help us 
to seek and find the rest we so desperately need during this season and always. And give us the assurance that that rest is found only in you. All this we ask in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.